Hello, and today I'm at Whittam Station. Let's find the sign, there's a sign, there's a sign. Located on the e e I was about to say the East Coast Main Line, the Great Eastern Main Line. Uh, located between London and Colchester. It's roughly the halfway point between Chelmsford and Colchester. Um, so at Whittam today you'll be seeing services operated by Grace Wrangler, of course, who are the primary operator that serve here. We will also be seeing a couple of freight trains, maybe even three freight trains if we're lucky today as well. Uh, Whittam, notably the junction for the uh, Braintree line, services to Braintree diverge off the main Great, Great Eastern Main Line here at Junction. Just down there you might be able to see that crossover. Um, I've got about an hour here, let's see what, what let's see everything that there is to turn up. We've got plenty, plenty of exciting trains to see here. As passing through now, we have two freight trains in close succession. First of all, a Class 66 going from Felixstowe to Trafford Park. loaded if only for that last bit, should be followed by another freight liner service going from Trafford Park to Felixstowe in the opposite direction. Six five four seven on that one. Squeaking away. Squeaking away. <laughs> As arriving now is going to be the fifteen hundred Great Wrangler service running from Colchester Town to London Liverpool Street. I really hate these text to speech announcements, do you? 72501, top number is going to be leaving this one. That carriage almost completely empty. This is the 1503 service, it's arriving in at 1459. It's unbelievably early, 720107 down for Clacton on Sea. This will probably be a 10 car visit stopping further up the platform. That's very interesting. Okay, as the clock ticks over to 1500, departing out now is going to be the 1500 Greater Anglia service going from Colchester Town to London, Liverpool Street. This one skips Hatfield Peveril, the next stop of this one will be at Chelmsford. Seven twenty one oh seven, and I believe 72105 at the rear have got a bit of a wait here, until they depart back to the on sea. Still can't believe they arrived that early. That's an impressive machine. The timetable still hasn't been um, altered very much since the 321s were taken out of service. Oh, I've got a train. This is coming through now, actually. I thought this was going to wait in the loop, but apparently it didn't. Passing through now with a DB Cargo UK Class 67. Running from Ipswich to Peterborough. Ipswich holding sides to Peterborough. On a driver training run, I believe. Celebrating Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee. 67007. 
I did not expect that to be coming through, but it did It did nonetheless. I'm glad we saw it. It's not often you see a 67 on the Great Eastern Main Line, is it? Anyway, the Clacton server should be departing any minute now, as it is. It's rich holding signs to Peterborough local inspection point. So this runs by the Great Eastern Main Line down to Lee Junction, then joins East Coast Main Line Finsby Park. Goes up the Hartford Loop and then up East Coast Main Line to Peterborough. Indeed, it is 7.2105 at the rear. Next stop, I believe, is Colchester for that one. Passing through now, we've got to Anglia Class 745 going from London Liverpool Street to Norwich. Sparking away very, very nicely there. That's passing through now, we've got another Great Triangular 745 going from Norwich to London this time. Seven four 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 zero two, giving it the power as it went through there. On seven four five, it's lovely trains. Ah, look at that! People popping its little head out the bushes there. Go very, very, very slowly. There's a ten mile an hour speed limit. There's a very, very, very steep curve followed by a blown level crossing. So drivers do come around very slowly. But we're going out is the 1516 Greater Anglia service running from Braintree to London Liverpool Street. Operated by 720-124. If we're lucky, we might have another unit on the way. Strangely coming into platform 4 here. I suppose it's easier than signalling onto platform 1 across the main line and then back onto the main line. Tree lines, single track anyway for the most of it. Oh, we are lucky. We've got another unit on the back of this one today. Seven twenty-five oh eight on the rear of this one. It's going to fit on the platform. Is it going to fit on the platform? Only just about fits on the platform this 10 car train here. The 720s are longer than the 321s they've replaced. Thanks for parting out now, bound for the south is going to be the 1516 service to London Liverpool Street. Next stop, Chelmsford. We'll followed by Ingotstone, Shenfield, Stratford, and London Liverpool Street. See another train waiting just in the distance there. Uh, oh, the 720 to cross over. It's running slightly late, but it's not too much of a problem. Okay, so arriving now is going to be the 1521 Greater Anglia service running from London Liverpool Street to Colchester Town. Put by 5 car class 720. This is going to be 720 563. One of these stopping services, this one stops at all stations from here to Colchester Town. Okay, our spotting out now is going to be 72563. On the 1521 Greater Anglia service, all stations to Colchester Town. Calling at Kelvin, Mark to take Colchester and Colchester Town. Very lovely. Question of the video. It's not a quiz type thing. 
So it's the general survey. Which trains do you prefer? Do you prefer the class 321s or do you prefer the class 720s? I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but I prefer the class 720s. I just think that's, the passenger experience on them is just much better than on the 321s. And people complain about the 2 plus 3 seating, but the 321s are 2 plus 3 seating as well. Oh, I've just gone to the toilet to take a break, and coming out is my train, the final train of the day, the 1528, which is also arrived ridiculously early. Service going from Ipswich to London, Liverpool Street, which is 725.31. Anyway, thank you all very, very, very much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, then do click the like button down below, and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, everyone.